but I'm just happy that they're in the local scene before they kick it with the major this weekend. Yep, trying to give them the tour. And now we're moving into game one here. This is going to be Odyssey versus Como Rikiri. Como going to be playing the Cloud here, and Odyssey definitely has Cloud experience. He plays against Ralphie, he plays against Dark Blues. I think he has a pretty decent record against Ralphie. It may, Odyssey, I know that Ralphie I, has, Ralphie has the sure. winning record. Ralphie I'm definitely has the winning record, but he's absolutely taking games. Yeah. Um, so the question is right now, what kind of breed of cloud Komorokiri is and whether Odyssey will be prepared for that. Right now, he seems to be doing a pretty good job, 97% already. This guy is the first seed. And I know for a fact that uh, Odyssey is hungry for something like this. <gasps> All right, that trade actually worked out fantastically for Odyssey. Even if he did take more damage from it, it got him back down to the ground. He's going for these juggles and that's it. The stock is gone from Komo right now. All right, Odyssey with a lead here. This is not also. This is this is not some false lead. This is not something that uh you know would be gone in an instant. Although it can be in this box, but uh, if he manages to play to this, he can really rack up more damage, especially considering that Fox. <sighs> there was a collective inhale from the entire crowd. It's right very there. spooky. Odyssey right now trying to look for this. Interesting. Uh, I feel like he's starting to look for more chip damage. It's not so much about big hits. He just wants to extend a lead. Wow. Taking game one is going to be so pivotal in this set. <gasps> Ruling behind him was... Also, it was actually really optimal there was the fact that he landed the up tilt and he no. immediately went into limit, making the fastballer just fall into up tilt even more. What? Excuse oh. me? Why did side B not grab the ledge? Uh, he had just gone hit. No, he like jumped off the ledge and side B. He like was on ledge oh, yeah, and you, then he jumped yeah. off side B. I think he wanted to side B above the stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, regardless, he still actually has this pressure built up. And now that he doesn't have to be as worried about the risk, he seems to be going in for a, like a lot more. Honestly, he's the kind of player where even if he's, you know, winning, Ooh. he will take you. He will take you and he will kick you to the curb. Right now, Odyssey, the first player to take a game from these, uh, from, from, the from any invasion. of the Japanese invaders here. I have to say, I'm not necessarily surprised. I think that Odyssey is, he's, well, no, he's such a strong player. And he has, when he is on fire, oh, Firefox looks like a king. Three, two, one, anyway, we're going to be having game two on FD. The big difference for this is that, yes, you will have, you know, taller ceilings, so it's going to be a little bit harder for Odyssey to kill off the top. But more than that, where does Fox have to land? Then again, where does Cloud have to land? Yeah. Cloud is going to the ledge right now, and maybe that wasn't the greatest idea because Odyssey is actually doing all of this damage even still. <gasps> How did wow. he get through it? That was really aggressive. <laughs> oh Are you kidding God. me? What is Odyssey doing right now? Odyssey is playing absolutely amazing. I just don't think that, I don't know if Como was ready for this. Granted, he's not, he hasn't won the set yet. I mean, Especially Odyssey is definitely the type of player who will just like start banging on all cylinders like immediately. Oh my, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> wow. He did it. Odyssey, the first Good one to fall. Lord. Somebody wow. give this man a bandana, but, and, Boom. I am actually, Jeez. I am really impressed with him. Look at his expression when he won. That was almost not like, people around him are rushing him, and he's just like, 